Alright, so this is Barchi, who has had pretty much no clicker training, other than to know what a click means in terms of expecting a treat uh, after a click. So I'm just going to show you how to introduce clicker training to a horse and just the first behaviour that we want to teach so that they're not mugging us for treats, they're not trying to steal treats all the time, not going to get nicky and try and get in our lap. Because that, from a big horse, like a big animal like a horse, we don't really want that. Um, that can get a bit dangerous, get a pushy horse that's de demanding food, we don't really want that. So first of all, we're just going to teach the horse to look away. So there. As soon as she took her nose anywhere away from me, just to the side there, and click and reward that. And so to start with, she doesn't understand why she's getting a click. But she's going to soon work out after a few repetitions, and if she just takes her nose over there, that's a quick intro. So we want high repetition, high rate of repetition to help her learn best. So you can see she's quite grabby for the trick. I'm just going to push my hand up towards her mouth like that, just to stop her being able to uh, bite and just to sort of teach her a little bit of respect taking that trick. Yeah, that was better. So she's still getting her treat, but I'm just going to say, no, you can't um, grab so forcefully at my hand because that's going to hurt me. Good. So you can see already that just after a few repetitions, she's starting to understand. But all she has to do is take her head over there. Good girl. She's got my finger there, so she's just getting a bit enthusiastic. So I'm just going to wait for her to bring her head back to me now. And as soon as she takes it away again, we'll click again. Okay. You can also move your hand backwards and forwards just like that, just to stop her being able to bite on. She's not meaning to bite me maliciously, but she's getting a bit enthusiastic for her reward. And so we just want to stop any of that potential nippiness for grabbing. Good girl. As soon as she takes her head away, we can pick the reward. So we have a sound working, really. Okay, so then we can start to test her out. So she took her head away once, twice, now we click. So we're just testing to see if she actually understands. So yes, she can show me that she does actually understand that she's getting the click for taking her head over there. So see if she can hold it longer now before we click. So she took it around further and held it longer. Good girl. And she brings it back and goes so she's really enjoying this training now. She's saying, oh, this is pretty easy. All I have to do is put my head over here and not demand the treat. And then I get a reward. So it's a pretty simple game for the horse to be involved in. It just makes them really interested in the training as opposed to you know, not really having anything in it for them. So why would they want to be involved? Yeah, so we just wait till she takes it away a second time. Good. And well, you can see the grabbing is getting less and less as we go on now too. We'll wait for her to take it away again. Good. I'm just trying to hold it. So she touched me that time. She's always trying to hold her head away. She's going to get a bit confused now. She's thinking, oh, hang on. 
Oh, I can't hear it on the microphone, it's just like a little lipid saying, come on, give me my treat now. Yeah. I'm pretty happy with that. She's not grabbing at the bum bag anymore like she was when I first approached her. So. Yeah. Alright, then we can see if we can do the other side also. So now we want to ignore this side, and then we want to reward when she turns her head the other way. So she's going to get a bit confused, so she's going to keep trying. Yeah, so as soon as she took her head slightly in the other direction, we reward that. So we ignore this side, ignore, because this is not what we want. So then she tries the other side. She's going to try coming towards me, so I'm just going to ignore that. Might be a bit more difficult to go inside too, because the fence is there. But she should be able to lift her head above the fence. She's sort of thinking. What do you want from me now? I don't understand. You're not giving me pick and reward anymore. Yeah. As soon as she picks the right answer, we reward her for it. And she's going to start offering the right answer more often. So ignore all this behind the there. Like so she could be here. Hold the car. Yeah. I'm gonna hold it across the long wrist on the other side. Just to switch it on the other side. So ignore this behavior. It's a reward as soon as she takes her nose away. Pretty simple really. Let's try this side again. And that doesn't work, so about what she has to do to roll my story. She's only worse on the second side because it's the second side that's really the only reason. She's just happy to keep trying the first side. She worked out that that was an easy way to get in the wall. So she's just going to get her brain to start thinking, what else can I do for her wall? Oh, we should be stupid going this behavior until we get exactly what we want. And then you see if she does what we want, we reward. Good girl. That's basically just how you start with your quicker training, just to keep your horse respectful of your space and not barge you and grave the treats. That can get a bit dangerous, and as you can see, the enthusiastic grabbing for the treat, you can just phase that out very quickly um, just by modifying how you're giving the treat. Just keep yourself safe and keep the horse doing the right thing and being rewarded for it. 